woven blouse mm -hmm. per se. It's a jersey knit. It has the flirtiest sleeve. It's it, like a t-shirt posing as this like poet's blouse. Correct. Right? Yeah. And I love what you did to the sleeve because Me too. Uh, whatever you call that raw edge hem. Yeah. Is like great. A little marrowed hem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then you've got the keyhole neckline. Um, it yeah. is made out of a rayon nylon span, so there's no stiff cotton in this. It's just meant to be really liquid drapey. Right. The, the, that, that incredible, like, sort of fluid motion of that sleeve is just everything. Look thing, at the know? colors. I know. It's like a salsa this skirt knit. on your sleeve. This anyway. It is so great, right? Down here. It's a very new kind Bright of knit for us. Bright berry. Oh, it feels so great. I know. Doesn't this feel mm -hmm. great, Sean? I know. I love it. Um, I actually want to put this on, so I will in a second. You should, because it was uh, great. This is going to be our teal navy. Look at the lipstick red and I mean, zip black. Seriously? Beautiful. All right, the can we go to the girls? Because I'm going to slip this on. Just little tiny neckline. Let's go over to the girls. Oh, you sure. go. I'm going to slip I'll this go. on. I'll go. Put it on. What color? I don't know. Red? Sure. Yeah, okay. put it on the red. Okay, I'll take the navy. Okay, love it. I will take the black. All right, but Taylor's so explain. The violet. Um, so, again, it's like just this idea of starting with this wonderful fabric, which is a kind of a new knit for us. Did you notice? It's kind of like a rayon nylon spandex, which I think just feels so incredible and wears really well and launders very well. So you're starting with this kind of like wonderful, like thick enough knit, thin enough knit to give fluidity, thick enough to like cover bumps and lumps and things. And then you're kind of doing like very little with it other than that magnificent, I think, like almost like a floral kind of a bell sleeve idea. I love it too. And then this beautiful little neckline detail, which again, it's like, you know, it's not too much. It's just enough, right? Thoughts, comments? It looks good. It looks great on you in red. I love you in red. Hang on, Come let on. me just remove. You should wear more red, I swear. Thanks. You really should. I do like red. It looks great. Let me mm -hmm. just, let me get a little bit more finished and zhuzhed here. Hi, Taylor. Hi. You look amazing. And by the way, what size is that? Like this a medium? A or so. Okay, that's a large, right? And you oh. see what's so great about this is that it does that beautiful thing up top, right? Where it fits in the right places. Mm -hmm. And then you see how it kind of just releases at the waist, releases in the place where you kind of want it to release, you know? And then it has this incredible, like, it almost feels like a sort of like a Spanish kind of a situation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, like flamenco. Like 18th century, like sort of Spanish or even earlier, you know? Do you know like, this is how the models do it? Uh, yeah, that is how the models do it. Do you know that? It. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, they do. Taylor, they do. we learn all these things right. on PM Style. Well, if you hold your hands just so, you can do the sleeve yeah. thing. Yes. There's a lot of model direction going on on the set tonight. Did you notice that? I have noticed a that. A lot of modeling, school. Well, we have a high-level contributor a to high the show tonight, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. From we the do. viewer's yes. perspective, it's yeah. markedly more upscale than normal. Yeah. So, so, I mean, like, I'm telling you, like, um, for the price of this top, you get, like, an evening tunic. You know what I mean? It has, it, it has kind of like a dressy edge to it. I mean, wear it with jeans for sure during the day. I feel like day, I would go through my whole life all like, the time like this, which is yeah. unfortunate because while it makes the sleeve good, look good, it, it makes me look mad. Yeah. I would just walk into a room <laughs> no, all the time no, no, no. like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I tell you what, like, any time you move in this, it's going to bring some kind of like incredible drama, you know? It's really great. It's really good. It's also fun to wear, right? Super it's fun. fun. To wear this top. Bonnie was saying it was like she really likes it and it's really fun <gasps> to wear, you right? Just like, look. That's a medium, Bonnie? Yes. That's a great, great, great color on you. Yeah. Uh, that one's called Vivid Teal, you said? Mm -hmm. Vivid Teal, yeah. right? And you're wearing lipstick red. Lipstick red. In What's like an extra extra small, again? which honestly I, I would rather be. Well, right. What do you think? I think if you were in just a plain old extra small, okay, it see? would do the thing. No, I mean, it looks incredible like that, but. If you were in your actual size, it would do what this is doing on Taylor. Correct. You know what I mean? Or what Hanging it's doing a on little Bonnie. Less where it would just be snug. like a little bit. And I don't mind you in snug. I don't mind I anybody in snug clothes. But if you if you would prefer for it to hang like sort of mm -hmm. away from mm -hmm. your waist, you would just order it in the size you, you, I got you. you normally get. Um, yeah. And then Barry on Miss Taylor. Barry, that's it. And then and we the have navy. navy and black, right? Mm -hmm. So, so, so great. I love it. I feel like it does the drama all on its own. Ex well, you see what I'm saying? Yes. You don't need to enter into any drama when you're wearing this shirt because it has, it has a lot of drama. Exactly. Very funny. But, um, but anything you're wearing on the bottom, like any skirt, any pair of little pants, any jean, you know, this is just going to be like a little bit chicer than your average t-shirt. And it's really, really easy to take care of. You just throw it in the washing machine, you get all this drama. And then I love the neckline too, right? I really do. I kind of like the neckline like layered over something. It's oh, so do you? Because yeah, I, I, I thought like you it. might, oh. 
Do you like I that? Like it. Yeah, I kind of love it. Did you intend to do that? No, I just wanted to like because it, it's, it's a little forceful. It is a little bit like there you go. Almost I'm just kind of I'm trying to dress you. I'm trying to like yeah. There we go. Boom. All right. Well, it's hard to like dress uh, when you're wearing a mic pack. Quixotic, right? ladies. Quixotic. Quixotic. Do you know what it means? Please use it in a sentence. Oh gosh, quixotic. Um, she looked at him quixotically when he asked her about her finances. Confused. Quixotic. Confused. Quixotic. No, it means like not so sensible, not so sensible, like a little bit dreamy, like a little crazy. Could, so, could we get a Google on this? Can yeah. you spell it, please? Yeah. Q-U-I-X-O-T-I-C. Like in the face Quixotic. of something. Quixotic. We need to go. What? Quixote, exactly. It's like Don, Don Quixote. Quixote. But what like does that have to do with Don Quixote? Tilting at windmills, like not exactly the smartest, most logical thing in the world in the face of something. Quixotic. Tilting at windmills. You know, like Don Quixote, right? Yeah. Like, you know, jousting it, jousting crazily at windmills when he thinks okay, they're monsters. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. Here Google we says <laughs> exceedingly, exceedingly idealistic. Idealistic, exactly. Exceedingly idealistic. Tilting. Unrealistic. Windmills. Unrealistic. And impractical. Crazy. So impractical. why would her boyfriend asking her about her finances be unrealistic? And no, no, impractical? no. She was unrealistic. And he, oh, yeah. Okay. What, no, not her boyfriend. By the way, I did not say boyfriend. I said. Oh, who was I it? I said accountant. Accountant, you did? yes, mm -hmm. because it's her accountant or his accountant, his accountant, this one's accountant, right? Unrealistic. I am and very idealistic. quixotic in the face of my account and my like. When you talk to me about my finances, I never know anything. I just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very idealistic. Yeah, or I just kind of a little crazy, cuckoo, quixotic. I think your definition of quixotic is a little quixotic. No, it's the right. It's definition. a little idealistic and unrealistic. <laughs> well, idealistic, but also a little <laughs> bit like sort of. <laughs> A little bit like crazily idealistic, okay. crazily, like not okay. logical. I'm just going to say quicks for short. Okay, okay, do it, do it, do it, do it.